As a college counselor, I'm often asked, what are the benefits of the IB Diploma Program? And there are so many. So what is the IB Diploma Program? Well, the IB Diploma Program, or DP, is an academically challenging and balanced program of education that, whilst academically robust, goes beyond that to ensure that students flourish intellectually, but also personally, emotionally, and ethically. Universities value students that have challenged themselves in their high school curriculum and performed well in those classes. I think what sets the IB apart is because it's not just two to three challenging courses. It's a full program in which students engage in rigorous coursework as well as research across multiple disciplines. The philosophy of the DP is that students should be engaged with a range of subjects. Standard level courses ensure that students are exposed to disciplines that they might otherwise opt out of. And higher level courses give students an opportunity to explore areas of personal interest in more detail. The IB Diploma Program gave me the opportunity to become fluent in another language, learn a third, and discover my passion for international affairs. By the selection of a student's IB higher level courses, a university can get a sense of a student's academic interest as well as their passions. Students will select three standard level and three higher level courses within the DP. And both standard and higher level courses are considered college level courses. And what we hear consistently from universities is that our IB students are prepared for college level courses. Everything that I studied in high school in the IB program, I then was seeing in Georgia Tech as well, all the way through my third and fourth year. And so I think that the IB was very successful in not just preparing me to be a strong student academically, but also preparing me to be a critical thinker and also a global leader. At some universities, they're receiving advanced standing and college credit. The three standard and three higher level courses that I mentioned are selected from six different groups. Group one is studies in language and literature. Group two is language acquisition. Group three is studies in individuals and societies. Group four is the experimental sciences. Group five, mathematics. And group six, the arts. Now students will select their courses from all of those groups with the possible exception of the arts. And if they opt out of an arts course, they can select or they would select one additional course from the first four groups. Through the IB, students have developed skills as strong writers, critical thinkers, and problem solvers. They've learned time management and organizational skills through multiple large-scale projects. Now, one of the questions we get quite a lot is, what is the difference between the DP and the AP? Well, it would be very unusual for an AP student to select six courses, for example, and that's what all of our DP students do. And in addition, AP courses tend to be one-year courses, whereas all DP courses are taught over two years. And even a standard level course has more recommended hours of teaching than an AP course. And higher level courses probably have something like twice the amount of recommended teaching hours. So they're much richer in detail and students really do dive more deeply into the courses they select when they go through the DP. Another unique feature of the DP that students don't get exposed to in other schools is something called the DP Core. Now this is a mandatory additional program that students engage with and has three components and those are TOK, EE and CAS. Now TOK is a taught class and stands for Theory of Knowledge and students will explore ways of knowing and relate that to areas of personal interest through presentations and essays. The EE is an independent, self-directed piece of work that culminates in a 4,000 word essay and should be on something that students find of personal interest. I ended up being very happy with my extended essay and you know, since then I've, I know a lot of people have had the same idea that Emmett Till was the catalyst for the civil rights movement and it was something personal to me and I was glad that I was able to complete a project that had some relevance to who I am as well as being able to educate other people. And finally, CAS, which is creativity, activity, and service. Students have been involved in that and led organizations all through the IB Diploma program, and now they're taking that to their college campuses. For example, I was part of Aprendiendo Inglés Solido, which goes and tutors students at local elementary schools with their English. So they're mainly students who have 
Spanish-speaking parents and have difficulty to come into an American school or an English-speaking environment. So we provide that bridge in connecting their household to their new environment. In my experience as a university counselor, the rigorous academics of the IB Diploma program are by far the best preparation for a student heading to university. 